Now, before we get to Eratosthenes solution, let's talk about some previous attempts made to calculate the circumference of the Earth. One famous thinker, Plato, estimated the Earth's circumference at 400,000 stadia. What's a stadia? Well, a stadia is a unit that the Greeks used, and it's a unit of length. And in physics, we'll often be using different units. It's not something we should be intimidated by. And actually, we don't even know what the Greeks meant when they said one stadium or two stadia. But our best guess is that one stadium is about equal to 185 meters, which is a more familiar unit and one that we'll be using frequently in this class. So let's convert this number, 400,000 stadia, into a better unit, maybe kilometers. Now, one way to do that is to start by writing out what we were given. We know we have a number, 400,000 stadia, and I'm being careful to write the units because the units are pretty relevant here. I'm going to write this as over 1 because I can always do that without changing the number. I'm then going to multiply this by a conversion factor. The conversion factor that I chose is the one I know, that 185 meters is equal to 1 stadia. So the interesting thing about this is that stadia appears here and it appears here, numerator and denominator, so we can cancel. We now have a number that's represented as meters, 400,000 times 185 meters. But that's not exactly what I want either, so we'll need to use another conversion factor. And since I know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, I can write this conversion factor. Notice that I put meters in the denominator, so that it will cancel with the meters in the numerator over here. So we can see all of the units have canceled. All I'm left with are kilometers. And to carry out this calculation, I do 400,000 times 185 times 1 over 1,000. And that gives me a result of 74,000 kilometers. Now, the true circumference, and this is the number you get if you type into a search engine the question, what is the circumference of the Earth? It's 40,000 kilometers. Plato was wrong. But how wrong was Plato? How far off was he? Error is something we often want to talk about in physics, but how do we do it? 